there, everybody. DTD, Dust to Dust here, ready to join in another adventure of Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. And I am here collaborating with Assassin Bros. How you doing, Assassin Bros? I am doing great. Great intro. So then, what happened on our previous adventure of Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3? On our previous adventure, I was knocked out by a knight, and I don't know what happened afterwards, because I was blacked out the entire time. <laughs> I see, since you were playing the tutorial. Well, oh, yeah. don't be don't don't be fooled, everybody. For those who are tactics ex experts like us, do not be fooled by this version. This version is pretty much putting War of the Lions and the original to shame for its difficulty, because you could even lose in the tutorial fight, so be aware. Says the guy who's never seen anything from this game. <laughs> I am assuming that's going to happen to me the first time I play it, too. Well, maybe not the tutorial fight, but I guarantee the fight I'm about to go into, you're going to die at least once in. Okay, so I assume from when we're going through the story, we're going back to the past when Ramzo was part of the army and, well, part of the uh, White Lion um, force and was serving... Duke Larg, right? Duke Larg. And he, him and Delita are about to go. Is yeah, that the fight you're right. talking about? Yep. Oh, that fight's even hard. Ooh, let me make a, let me make a guess. Would it be hard as the fact that the chemist has a gun instead of a knife this time? He doesn't have a gun. Okay, then. Because but you're right, I he does have a different weapon. I would say the thing is, the best way to make a chemist very active in battle besides just support, give it a gun. If you give it a gun, say, like, the Ramonda Pistol or the Ras Algeti, which is, um, which is, a, which is an exclusive gun that you get in War of the Lions because that's when Balp, that's the gun that Balp Air uses. Um, that's his main weapon, but you can give it to anybody who has, who can use guns. Or the Bolt gun, the ice, or the ice gun... Like, any of those guns, put them with a chemist and try to add some abilities to it to give them more protection. And bada bing, bada boom, you've got a fully prepared and armed chemist who will not die. And if you don't want him to die at all, then just keep, keep, just give him auto potion. There you go. <laughs> but I would figure that's something that they would probably do to the game itself. But what kind of weapon does uh, the chemist actually have? I believe it's a hand bow. Oh, he has a bow. Oh, I don't remember if it's the chemist that has it or if the squires have it. But I know a couple Tell of me. them have a dang hand bow. I hope that he doesn't have a crossbow. I mean, if he has a long bow, that's even worse. But crossbow, uh, that's that's basically giving him many. It's basically giving him an old version of what a gun is. Ah. <sighs> I would say crossbows and bows are not my favorite type of weapons and tactics. Not a bit. And I need one more of these squires. We'll go with Minerva, just because I like that name. Don't forget to add your um. Don't forget to add your chemist. I did. I added both of mine in. That's good. Because I am going to need two healers for this fight. Oh, I would assume so, because if you're playing on a harder version, you need double the healing. Don't overdo it! First aid! <laughs> Not sure if that's what you're going for, but if it was, I got the reference. Yes, it was. That's what exactly <laughs> I was going for. <laughs> Good call. Good call. I'm glad you <laughs> caught on with that. Kind of tempted to say that every time I have a chemist heal now. <laughs> well can't really say it to them because you could choose you could tell them to actually heal unless you give them auto battle yeah if you're giving them auto battle then yeah then then you can, then then it's pretty much okay to pretty much be saying that to them most of the time all right let's see our first squire starts off with dash and throw stone oh that's your typical Oh, and if you're wondering why his is called basic skills and Rams is called guts, if you're not, if you're new to this, it's because Rams is not a typical squire. 
Nope, he is a very special squire. He can learn certain abilities that not every other squire in the game can learn. Unless you're playing War of the Lions, because War of the Lions actually has another character who's kind of like Ramza, because he's from a different Final Fantasy game. And pretty much spoilers, it's Luso from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2, which is a DS game. He Don't you get pretty much recruit him from the him. desert? Yeah, you recruit him from the desert when he's fighting a bunch of behemoths. He joins your party, and by the way, he's going to be the first party member in your team if you if, if you decide, if you don't, I mean, I'm sorry to say, but if you don't let him join up, what's wrong with you? Because he has an ice brand at the at that point of the game. You can't get an ice brand unless you're like around chapter three. You can get him around chapter two. Yeah, isn't that like a random chance to actually get him, though? You have to keep stopping or passing through that one desert space? No. I mean, the thing is, it's actually part of the story. Oh, did they incorporate the part of the story? They incorporate that in War of the Lions, yeah. I thought that was just a random chance, because I know the first time I passed over the desert, and when that was supposed to happen, nothing happened. Zorin, watch out! Don't want to rush them! Not in this version. The Bayol family? So, you must be cadets from the military academy, snot those little nobles. I'll only be reading out some of my favorite lines. <laughs> I'm not going to read out everything they say. I hope they added the um, Agrius' birthday event in there, too. That's funny. Um, I think they added Agrius' birthday. They put the, I believe, I don't remember if they actually did or not, but I believe they put the Onion Knight and the Dark Knight in here as well. Nice. So it's pretty much just War of the Lions, but just harder. Nice. Yeah. And a note, um, when you go back into the past, uh, your main character, Ramza, who I've named Zoran, so that's probably what I'm going to be referring to him as, um, his abilities get randomized again, and you're only going to have one or two. Well, like before, we could possibly start with four or five. In this case, I got Wish. So, thankfully, I can use him to revive down allies. Maybe. Nice. Oh, right, you already told me that. <laughs> I forgot you told me that already. That's not what I want to um, But I am actually surprised that they gave it that kind of statuses instead of just keeping it as in, like, you're actually being able to, like, um, just save it as just a way of just healing your uh, healing your allies instead of just, you know, trying to lose HP while you're doing it, too. Let's see, our second squire, our female squire, has also has dash and throw stone. Mainly most of the, um, mainly people, most of the time when you deal with squires, their basics are going to be just dash and throw stone. That's basically it. Hey, their chemist has throw stone. Lovely. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Trust me, I'd rather have him throwing stones than what he's done to me before. And knowing how overpowered throw stone is, that's saying a lot. <laughs> right, in throwing terms of damage, very, stone's not that very overpowered. Though. Throwing stone is very annoying. You know what would have been more annoying for throwing stone? It lowers your It lowers your speed. Isn't that what it imagine... does in No. Not, if you're talking about Ramza in Dissidia, in, in the new Dissidia game, no. That is not what his um, throw stone does. It actually, um, I've done my analysis, I've done my research and info searching about Ramza's characterized battle style in um, the new Dissidia, Dissidia NT, I should say. Um, apparently... You need to use Yell. If you do not use Yell, all of his moves will suck. He needs Yell in order to reach his maximum potential to make his moves extra stronger and much more powerful. So yes, if you do have Throw Stone... Down. Nice. So if you do have Throw Stone with the setup that you're going to be using for Ramza and Dissidia, 
make sure a yell actually works so that way that growth stone can actually flinch your opponents and even have a chance to break their shields because it oh, actually has made uh, this fight annoying all the uh -oh. squires have potion oh god and i believe they have infinite potions that's what oh, made this god. fight annoying god damn it well i wish you the best of luck my friend <laughs> well gee thanks appreciate the support <laughs> All the squares have to This is going to be a long fight. Don't worry, man. You got this. Maybe. Uh, it was a square. The square has a bow gun. The other one has a broadsword. And then the two that are by the other buildings have a broadsword. And where's the other one? A dagger. Well, so there's one squire with the bow gun. Again. Again. Good luck. I can't wait that's to. That's all I'm gonna be able to say because, oh Jesus, if there's a chance, I'll probably stream it. I kind of want to make it required for you to stream. You're not allowed to play anything else until you stream this all the way through. Oh come on. <laughs> I actually planned on actually literally streaming or even LPing all the Final Fantasy games since I pretty much have them all now. And the bow gun is down. Let's take care of this other asshole. Do so, my friend. Do so. Godspeed. And fair warning to the viewers, I usually try keeping my channel semi-child friendly. It's not going to be for this game. No, I'm going to be not. swearing a lot in later fights. This fight's probably not going to take as long as I thought it was going to now because I got rid of the bowgun guy. Good. I think that That's was the, the bowgun guy. That's the first thing you should do, because if you've got a bow gun, get rid of him, because that means he's got range, and he's going to pretty much be sniping against your, uh, your chemists. Anybody who heals, they're going to they're gonna screw over. I think they're about to, oh no, sweet. I was going to say they're about to take out one of my chemists, but she got to act first before the other one moves, so I can heal her. No, but the first time I did this fight, the guy with the bow gun went on that uh, house all by itself right there on the middle of the map on the left side when you first start. He got up there and just kept sniping me, and I couldn't get up to him because there was dead bodies all the way around him. Ah. Uh, he wouldn't come down. No matter how far I moved away, he'd stay up there. Oh, another thing that they incorporated into this. Um, they made guard to where it pop up a lot more. Oh, no. So, say you have a 70% chance to hit and a 30% chance to miss. Uh, in this version, you'd have a 70% chance to hit, 30% chance to miss, and about a 20% chance that they'd use their shield. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna have to send Ramza back to help these other guys. 
Always keep Ramza alive. Don't don't let him die at all. Neither I mean Delita, yeah, he could die. Because he won't literally turn to he won't completely disintegrate or even turn into a freaking coffin. Any storyline character could die, we'll say that. Because there are some temporary characters that can't die for a while while they're guests in your party. But if they join your party permanently and they die, they can actually die. Forever. Yeah. Oh, God. Why do you all have to have potions? I hate you all. Why does the game have to be ten times tougher? That's basically what you're saying. Oh, crap, I forgot about this. Damn it. Like, if they all had potions, it wouldn't be that bad, but they all have an infinite supply of potions. Oh, no. Nothing's responding. Crap! Okay, thankfully it stopped. It's not working. Alright, there goes one chemist, but you didn't heal, so I think that's a fair trade off. So now I can kill you and revive my chemist next turn. Goodbye. That leaves two spires. Yes, get rid of them. They need to be taken care of. I got turned into a treasure chest. Okay, you're gonna attack my other squire. Good, that means I can probably wipe you out because you're not healing either. Thank you, Delita. Oh, I'm so glad I got this crap to work. What was that? Oh, sorry. I'm just saying to myself, I'm glad I got everything on my PC to work again now. All the games that I used that I'm playing on it. That's all. Finally got them all. To, I got them all fixed. I just need to make sure that all the PSP games will also work too after I put in the save data into the files for the PSP emulator itself. Alright, now all that's left is their one squire, so let's see how long this is going to take. Well, he has potion, right? Yep, he has potion, so he can just turn it up in the corner and heal every turn. This is going to take forever. Does he have... how much speed does he have? Uh, I can let you know in a second. When I get control of my turn back. Pushing up, run away. Yep, I've seen that coming. God damn it, not again. Uh, he only has six speed. So, how much speed does uh, Rums and Delita have? Uh, Delita has six, and Ramza. Also has six. Okay, then. Who's closest to that squire? Uh, one of my other basic squires that starts with five speed, I think. Mm. And I take it they don't have any, that your squire has no ranged weapons, it just has short base, uh, short um, ranged weapons. He has rock throw. Well, just spam that then. <laughs> I would say in order to make 
um, throwing stone to be very, very, very abusive in the game, I would say either make it lower your opponent's speed down, or it makes them skip a turn. Or pretty much don't act or don't move. Yeah, I pretty much got cornered with my two helping squires. Who will be leaving the party right after this battle. Well, maybe not after this battle. I might wait till the battle where we have to save Jackass, then get a new party. That way I have a <laughs> area to train in. I wish you could nickname him that. Yeah, nickname him when he comes into the party and just nickname him Jackass. Yes. Then Delito will be like, Jackass! Spoilers? Whoa, man. Hmm? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We haven't met her yet, so they have no idea who she is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. And it'll be a week or two before you guys find out. I am sorry for those who heard me. From saying that. <laughs> I Probably not everybody, because I have your volume turned up the loudest. I could wait for all these guys either to turn into treasure chests or crystallize, but it's not worth it. I already got the chest from the bow gun guy, so... That was only closed, so there's nothing else here I really want. Oh, you dick. Why'd you go up there? And that's the fight. Excellent. And no casualties. Yep, and only one of my chemists went down. Nice. I didn't have a guy sniping me with a bow gun the entire goddamn time. <laughs> I made sure to take him out yes. first. I always get rid of those who have long range first, then deal with the short range. Actually, I'd go magic users, then ranged, then normal people. The magic really? would be really would get... annoying. I would actually get rid of the long range ones, then magic, then the. Um short range. That's what I would do. Well, I long range did this long range. isn't necessarily that bad compared to what some of the magic spells got remade to do. Which I'll tell you about when we make it that far. Got it. Alright. Let's go to the shop real quick. Um, beginning shop, you can get yourself a dagger, a broadsword, a rod, an oak staff, leather hat, clothes, no accessories, and then you can also buy phoenix downs, eye drops, antidotes, and potions. You note that phoenix downs are a little bit expensive when you first play, so could take some time. Not in this game. Oh, really? They nerfed the amount. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what was the I original think, price? Think... 500? In all honest, what, in um, the originals in, in War of the Lions as well? They're about yeah. 500. Yeah. They're about 500 gil each. Yeah, take a guess of what it is here. 100? A little bit higher. A little bit higher? I thought you said it got a nerf. What is it, 200? 150. Oh! Wow, that's ex that's surprisingly cheap. Wow. I never yeah, it's only 100 that. more than every other item in the shop. <laughs> Eye drops are 50, yeah, antidotes are 50, potions are 50. And that's because the game knows you're going to need a lot of them. Oh, I would assume so. If they're going to be get, if this is supposed to be a hard version of this game, I would assume they'd be giving you as much backup as possible. All right, that makes a total of 25 potions and 25 phoenix stems. That should hold me for a fight or two. Um, also in the stores, you have the bar, which you can go to, hear rumors. This just gives lore on the story. There's no really point into doing it yet. 
Sometimes it leads to missions a little later. But as for now, it doesn't do anything. Then you get the Soldier Office, where you can recruit your own fighters and name them. You can also change the name of monsters, if you get yep. monsters in your party. Be aware, though, it will cost you gil. To recruit stuff, yes. To change names, no. Right, changing names, it does not cost gil, but to recruit them, yes, it does. Uh, 1500 for males and 1400 for females, which I find really surprising, because for some reason, all the female fighters seem to do a bit more damage. <laughs> I'm not that kidding. Even like if a... their bravery and faith are the exact same, and they're using the same weapons and everything, females tend to do about three to four more damage. Start that out. sounds like that kind of sounds like a DK reference. Yeah. So other than Dust character, everyone on my team will probably be female, unless you want to be female. Uh, I'd rather be male. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't make any of the cool jokes now. No. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go and potentially save Dickhead. Why do I say potentially? Because I can choose not to save him and just kill everybody. Because I really don't care about 100%ing this game. I really don't. Not this version. I pretty much 100% all the other games, but I don't know about this one. <laughs> I can't remember why this next fight's annoying. I'm sure I'll remember the second the fight starts. Anyways, would you like to handle the outro as well, sir? I would. This is DTD, Dust to Dust, signing out. Peace. Have a good day, everybody.